We at Brunson Children's are all concerned about your children as well as the children in our community. Many of us not only take care of kids, but are also parents ourselves. We all share in your concern about the rise in respiratory viruses and illnesses that we've been seeing in our community. While we have talked a lot about RSV lately, it is important to note that other viruses such as influenza or flu and COVID are on the rise as well. RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus and is a common infection that occurs in childhood. It is similar to the virus that causes common cold and flu. Influenza and COVID can look very similar to RSV and all of them have the potential to cause more severe respiratory problems. Children with heart or lung disease or other long-term medical conditions such as Down syndrome are also at higher risk. Your child may be more likely to develop severe symptoms with these viruses if she was born early or if she's younger than two years of age. Symptoms of a respiratory infection include breathing issues such as loud breathing or wheezing, having brief pauses of breathing during sleep, having shortness of breath, or having difficulty breathing. Coughing often, having a runny nose, having a fever. Wanting to eat less or being less active than usual. Being dehydrated, having irritated eyes. Treatment is to lessen symptoms and support healing. Because RSV, influenza, and COVID are viruses, usually no antibiotic is prescribed. There are some things that you can do to keep your child comfortable and hopefully keep them away from the hospital or the doctor's office. Using a bulb syringe and nasal saline in your child's nose will help to relieve congestion. You can run a cool mist vaporizer in their room at night that will add moisture to the air and help to loosen mucus. Offer your child a well-balanced diet. Watch your child carefully and do not delay seeking medical care if they are getting worse. Your child's condition can change quickly. Please call your healthcare provider if symptoms seem to worsen or if they don't improve over about three to four days. Be sure to get help right away if your child's skin turns blue or nostrils widen with breathing. Breathing is not normal or there are pauses during breathing. This is most likely to occur in young infants. The mouth is dry or has trouble breathing. Makes grunting noises when breathing. Has trouble eating or vomits often after eating or urinates less frequently than usual. You should also have your child seen if they are younger than three months, have a temperature of 100.4, which is 38 Celsius or higher, and any age with a fever of 100.4 or greater for more than five days. Generally speaking, children can return to daycare when they are 24 hours fever free and their symptoms are improving. Please visit healthychildrens.org, which was curated by the American Academy of Pediatrics to help with families while they're going through these illnesses. Please vaccinate your children. 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 Please vaccinate your children.